stop doing this when it comes to setting DNS servers for your Azure virtual machines. I see a lot of people when they're getting started out in Azure, or maybe they've been there for a while, but they have more of a, a traditional VMware or Hyper-V background or, or physical servers. And so when it comes to setting the DNS servers that their virtual machines will talk to, what do they do? They go into the operating system, of course, and on the NIC settings, they come in here and they set the, the DNS servers manually uh, from within the operating system. Quit doing that when it comes to Azure VMs. You don't want to do that. One, it disrupts, it can disrupt the network connectivity. If you put in a bad DNS server in there, it could potentially break your access to that virtual machine until you rip off that virtual NIC and add another NIC in. Uh, avoid all that complication. That's not the best practices for setting DNS servers within Azure. The other way uh, that people do it that is supported, but maybe not the, the best way to handle it is they'll come into the virtual machines, go into the network settings, and then on the VNIC itself, they'll set the DNS servers. And again, that, that's a better practice than setting it within the operating system itself. But notice how by default, these virtual machines are on this inherit from virtual network. That's because on the actual virtual network settings, you can go, let me hop into the virtual network here. So this is VNet SML1. And if I go down to DNS servers, here is where you can set the custom uh, DNS servers for your entire virtual network. And so then any virtual machine that gets added to this virtual network in those subnets uh, will pick up these uh, custom DNS sources uh, automatically. So you don't have to configure it on the NIC every single time. Uh, this is especially handy when you start automating things that want to get automatically joined to the domain. So again, that's on the virtual NIC itself on the DNS servers, you can go to custom. And then I would add your custom DNS servers at the top, you know, whether it's a traditional Active Directory DNS that's on some VMs that are inside Azure, or you're in using Azure Domain Services, which provides you two IP, internal IPs that you can use. Place those at the top of your custom list. And then at the bottom, you can use the, the Azure provided DNS service IP address, this 16863129.16. So that allows you, if you're using the VPN gateway service or anything like that, that still allows that resolution to happen after it's contacted your primary custom DNS providers. So yes, stop setting it on the OS, stop setting it on the virtual machine, set it on the virtual network.